Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav and today we will learn how to run our test ng tests from command line using Maven and we will go very basic step by step and learn how to run test ng tests from command line using Maven, how to provide test ng XML file name at runtime from the command line. We will also see how to include or exclude specific tests and run them through command line. During this session I will also discuss some useful tips with you so let's get started and there are some prerequisites and I'm sure that most of these prerequisites you already have but just for information I want to put it here so for prerequisites in case of Java you should have Java installed on your system you should have Eclipse available and you should have a Maven Java project created in Eclipse now just in case you have not followed the earlier sessions and you have directly come here I will provide the links for all these videos in the description or notes section so you can see there and also uh, let me just show you I am on my Windows system and you can also do it on Mac I will go to command line and if you are on Mac you can go to terminal and say Java space hyphen version and this should show you a java version and you can say java c space hyphen version and this can this will show you your java compiler version so just in case if you are not getting this options or this information here you can set up java and you can see the videos and the links are there in the description you should have eclipse downloaded and you should have created a java maven project so in our earlier session we have created this selenium project which is a maven project and this is what we are going to use here so this is the prerequisite in terms of java for testng you should have a testng plugin added in eclipse you should have testng dependency added in your pom.xml in the project and you should have some testng uh, tests created and a testng.xml file created now again i will provide all the video links in the description or notes section just in case you do not have any of these but if you have followed the earlier session you should be having this so you can see i have a test ng plugin already added in Eclipse and if I go to my pom.xml I will show you the test ng dependency also added here so you can see the test ng dependency and version 6.14.3 is added here so all this are, is done we also have several test ng tests created so if I go to my package here so if I go to demo and I can show you any of these tests so you can see this is a test ng test where we have all these testng annotations and also we have some testng.xml files created and just in case you do not have this you can see other videos and I will have the links in the description and on the maven side you should have maven available on your system now if you are on windows or mac I have a separate video for both of these how to uh, install or how to add maven to windows or mac and the description will be in the notes section and just to show you a very quick uh, give you a very quick information you can just go to your google and say download maven and here you will find this apache maven website and here if you go to download section if you go down you will find this uh, zip file so you can get the zip file and unzip it and then place it at any location on your system so if I show you my maven I have it in C program files and you can see this Apache maven is here and then once you up uh, you unzip it you will go to your my computers in case of Windows and go to properties and go to advanced system settings and go to environment variables and then you have to create an environment variable m2 home and provide the location of your maven and in the path you have to add the location of your maven home bin so you can either provide the complete location until the bin folder of your maven or you can say I have already given m2 underscore home and provided the location of my maven so I can say percent m2 underscore home percent and then bin folder so this bin folder here in your maven you have bin folder this should go in the path and in case you are on mac again I have a video that you can see in the description you can see the link and these are the two basic steps that we have seen and then you can test on your command line you can say mbn space hyphen version uh, and it should give you the version of maven so this was version so it should give you your maven version and the location okay so this was the very quick prerequisite and let us come to our main topic which is how to run testng from maven command line and we will learn this in very simple four steps 
the very first step is we have to add maven show fire plugin in our pom.xml so if i go to google again and i will search for maven show fire plugin and this is the link i will go here so i will also provide all these links in the description or notes here you can see maven show fire plugin and here you can see this says the show fire plugin is used during the test phase of the build life cycle to execute the unit tests of an application and here you can see the show fire plugin has only one goal which is show fire test and here you can see the usage and here if you see in the example section we have using test ng using junit uh, using cucumber and all these so we are interested in using test ng so we will go here and here it is asking us that you should have the test ng dependencies added to your pom.xml which we have already done and here we are interested in this section using suite xml files where we can give the location of our test ng.xml so i will copy this from here and i will go to my eclipse and go to my pom.xml and you can see this is my pom.xml i will go at the bottom and after dependencies i will create a build tag and inside the build tag i will paste this information so it should be build tag then plugins and then you should have the plugin tag and then this information i will just remove this extra lines here and this as well and save it so here you can see this is the group id artifact id version and here we have configuration tag and inside configuration we have suit xml files and then suit xml file and here you have to give your location of your test ng.xml file and this is step two provide location of your test ng.xml file and here if you see in my case i have these test ng.xml files created that we have done in our earlier sessions and all these test ng xml files are available just below my main project location so this is my main project folder selenium java framework and it is available just inside this so i can directly give so for example i have to uh, run test ng 6.xml so i will say test ng 6.xml now just in case this does not works for you or your test ng.xml file is located somewhere else you can give a complete location you can do a right click on your test ng.xml go to properties and you can actually provide this complete location as well in case this does not works for you or your test ng is located at a different location but in my case it is here just inside the main project so i am giving the name here and now i can go to my command line and open the location of my project so this is step number three so here i will open my command line if you are on mac you can go to your terminal and here i will cd to the location of my project so i will right click go to properties to get the location and i will copy this location and on my command line i will say cd and paste this location so now i am on the location of my project and now i can run the command mvn clean test so i will say and make sure that you have saved your project so you must have your project saved and then you can say mvn clean test and let us see what happens so this is running our maven command and yes and running the tests and yes you can see the build is successful now just in case you get any error what you can do is you can first run mvn test or you can run first mvn clean this command and see if you are getting a build success and then you run the command mvn clean test now let us see what happened we had run our test ng 6.xml and if i go inside my test ng 6.xml you can see it is running my uh, inside my demo package there is this class test ng parameters demo and this is what it should be running so if i go inside my demo package and here i have test ng parameters demo and you can see here it is running all this i am inside test 1 i am inside test 2 and all these test 1 2 3 are there and the same have been executed here okay and now let us also see 
how to provide testng.xml file name at runtime. Now, until now, what we have done is we have given the location or name of our testng file here. So if I want some other testng file, let's say four, I will have to give it here, change it here in my pom.xml and then again go to my command line and run mvn clean test and this will now run my testng4.xml so it is now running so you can see it is running a test on the browser and it is it will run the test here going to google.com and here it is running the tests and there was this was a failure test so we have got a failure but the thing I want to show you is you will always have to change it here and then save your project and then go to command line which is not very suitable if you are integrating with any continuous integration system you should have the ability to give your testng xml files from command line so for that what you can do is step one is replace or in place of testng.xml file name give a reference so here what I will say is instead of hard coding I will say dollar and curly brackets and I can give any name here I can say this is testng file okay so here I have given file name but you can give any name here and save it and then from the command line you will use this parameter minus t and whatever name you have given so now what I will do is from the command line now I will say mvn clean test and then minus t and whatever parameter I have given so I have given testng file and equals to I will say testng 6 doctor xml or whatever name or location I want to give so minus t testng file this is the name here testng file and the value I am giving is testng 6.xml and let us run this and see what happens so it should run my testng 6.xml file now and yes and you can see it is running the test, test which are defined in our testng 6.xml and now I can use any testng file from command line so this is how you can provide testng file name at runtime from command line and now let us learn how to include or exclude specific tests and this we will see from here so again if you go to your same location of uh, maven surefire plugin and if you go a little up you can see if you would like to use a different naming scheme you can change the includes parameters as discussed in this article or example let us go here and here if you see this example you can see in the configuration you can say include and include some test cases and only that test case will be run or if you want to exclude you can use this exclude so here let us see I will go to my pom.xml again and now in the configuration I do not want to use the suite xml file so I will comment it I will press ctrl shift and forward slash to comment this particular section and now I will use includes tag so I will say includes and inside include I will have to another use another tag which is include and here I can give the name of the test for example I just want to run this test1.java so I will say here test1.java and save it and now go to my command line and let me run this so I will say mvn clean test and let us see what is my test1.java so if I see here it is going to a chrome browser and going to orange hrm website and adding the username password and doing a login and then doing a logout so let us see if this runs I will say mvn clean test and let us see what happens now so it is starting and is starting the test demo.test1 and yes it is going to orange hrm login and logout and yes this is successful so this is how you can include or exclude specific tests so I hope this session was very very useful for you do share your knowledge with others and now once you can run your test from command line you can also integrate with continuous integration systems in the coming session we will see how to integrate with Jenkins and in case you face any issues you can let me know you can send me your comments and messages and I will try to help you as soon as I can I will meet you in the next video thank you so much for watching